Here's a short update on the progress. We've got the 3D printed parts coming along. However, they are uh, really, uh, three, four parts every eight hours. So yeah, that's four part every eight hours. And I need 48 parts. LED works good. We got the moisture sensor working along here. Got the stepper driver motor, OLED screen. Now the OLED screen is basically going to be displaying um, the light, the information on the light, as well as the information on the sensor of the the moisture sensor. And we also have an ultrasonic sensor. Now the ultrasonic sensor is used for measuring distance. So the distance from the light to the plant is what this one will be measuring, and it'll be giving you that information along with updating the height for the light and uh, I want to keep the light you know the light distance optimal at all times and we got a step counter over here that the, the seven set that this four digit seven segment display is going to count the number of revolutions that the motor has turned the entire wheel so for one wheel, I don't know how many steps it'll be because I haven't been completely put together, but there will be a certain amount of steps. Got the RTC module and the NeoPixel ring for um, warning lights and other stuff like that. And of course, the eight channel driver along with the single uh, single channel driver. The single channel driver will be used to turn on and off the machine by toggling five volts. We toggle the five volts and it connects to the uh it connects the entire 12 volts and the 12 volts then triggers the 120 volt over here <clears throat> and this is not the box that it's going to be in this is just i have everything set up here so i can make the code run it and debug it with all the components sitting right next to each other and so i've been working on the cloud wizard also the cloud wizard is a uh, it's coming along nicely. And we got the stepper over here. That guy right now is just reading the resistance to the moisture sensor. <laughs> so if I run my little code here, we'll see two parts of information. One will get the the visual. Oh, let me take this rotate out. Do, 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 do. Wait for the program because I am going to close it. And close here. We just got to comment this out right here because it's, it's a little wacky. So I commented that out. Now we should be able to run with no problem. Now I'll be getting the information from the <clears throat> the moisture sensor. The moisture sensor right now is saying that it's it's barely given watered. You can see that the oh, here we go this low level. So this is the the outside box right here. This will be the um, the shell. The center will be the center. These two objects I still have to add. Here, one will be the front part of the ring, and the other one will be the side part of the ring, front and back part of the ring. And I still have to add the table, add the motor, and all those other good things. But basically, you get the point. So, that here measures the water that's in the machine. <clears throat> Eventually, I'm going to change the sensor to be the one to measure how much water is in the reservoir and one to measure the moisture in each individual plant. So we got that going there, and that's all, all updated from the Arduino. So yeah, it's coming along. I got plenty of crap to more to add to it, and uh, should be good after all the parts are put together. Have a whole new setup. <clears throat> I gotta find a way to mass produce each part because making these by a 3D printer is taking forever. I mean, my lo my my logo comes out okay, but that's not enough. I need to be making 42 parts a day. Anyways, that's the update. Later.